Okay, let's talk about ways to avoid temptation and increase self-discipline. Self One, always set a date, setting a start date to begin a life change is an effective strategy to succeeding with your plan. Okay, choose a day at the beginning of the month or on the anniversary date of something. A goal without a date is just like a thought. So make a thought a reality by setting a target date to begin your life change. Make sense? Good. Number two, think about why you want to achieve more self-discipline and write it down. That's right, write it down. Self-discipline takes practice, which makes it a learned behavior. It requires daily practice, so repetition is key. Mantras, affirmations can help with self-control by shifting focus on higher values rather than mediocre results. Think positive and write positive notes to yourself and place those notes in spaces that you visit most often. Okay? Number three, practice visionary goal setting and picture the final results of your efforts. Be sure to motivate yourself with the positive effects of your self-control. By practicing visionary goal setting and seeing yourself reaching that goal puts you in a better position to be successful at accomplishing your goal. Okay? Number four. Are you ready for this? Here it is. Plan what you will do when temptation arises. Removing all temptations and distractions from places you visit regularly is an important first step when working to improve your self-discipline. Temptations will arise at some point along the way, so prepare a self-regulation strategy that will include what you'll say and do when temptation arrives. Number five, try combining your wants and needs, pairing something you have to do with something you like to do. This can help you learn to compromise with yourself while still remaining in control. Be sure to treat yourself. That's right, treat yourself when practicing self-control. Be sure to schedule breaks, okay, and rewards for yourself. Here's number six, sleep hygiene is important. So get plenty of rest, sleep deprivation, and impair the way your brain works. When we don't get enough rest, it affects our mood and our ability to concentrate and our overall health. It's important to get at least six to eight hours of sleep each night. Try to stay away from caffeine and alcohol at least four hours before bedtime. So, your natural cycle, your natural sleep cycle will not be disturbed. Number seven, reach out for help. Develop a support system of family and friends who will hold you accountable when you feel like giving into temptation. Repeated reminders of the goals you set will help you successfully accomplish those goals. In addition, your support system can provide insight. That's right, insight on what may have worked for them. Number eight, weigh all your options. Making an impulsive decision can be a bad choice. So be sure to weigh your options along with the ramifications before you decide. Think about how your decisions can set you back. And think about whether or not you'll be disappointed afterwards. Number nine, 
drink in moderation or avoid alcohol. Avoid it. Alcohol can weaken self can weaken self discipline by taking away your ability to effectively reflect on the potential ramifications of any given action. And number ten, keep yourself around like minded people. Surrounding yourself with like minded people can provide additional support, along with motivation to succeed. By learning how to achieve self-discipline, you can begin making the changes you want to make in your life. There are many ways to achieve self-discipline, but the best way is to know the reason why you want the things in life that you do, or why you desire to change, okay? So when our reasons are strong enough, all we have to do is couple it with self-discipline. That point, that point on, we can concede, succeed at anything. Choo-choo. Let's go.